There we go. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> hi, everybody. Um, welcome back. Um, if you weren't here yesterday, I'm back from my three-week break. <laughs> um, already, we have the queen ready and with us and watching. She says hi to everybody. Um, and I say hi as well. Um, but yes, I apologize for the late start. I was having... My controller was not wanting to behave itself. Um, but I remembered... I, I realized what the problem was. I use a third-party program to, uh, to force the connection between the controller and the game. And uh, I forgot to activate that. So it was entirely me being a dumbass. Um, but anyway... Hi, everybody. How are you guys doing? Um, take a second and, you know, stretch muscles, relax, chill for a moment. You know, it's... Oh, it's the end of a Tuesday. And it's 2021. It's no longer 2020. But, you know. Welcome, Mr. Generic Name. I'm glad you were able to make it. Um... Sorry, my windows are not wanting to rearrange themselves how I normally have them. There we go. Okay. <laughs> um, hi, everybody. <laughs> Again. Um, oh, I need to check to make sure that everything's coming through. Uh, nothing's too loud. Nothing. How's everything sounding, guys? Is it? Am I too loud? Am, am I too quiet? I've been um, fiddling with some audio settings on my side of things for the mic and so i might actually be a bit quiet or at least quieter than usual um music is a tad loud okay which means that it's not just me that that's the case for so let me actually fix that um okay let me actually mute it first because otherwise yeah okay um what am I looking for? Volume, that's right. Which I believe is... Uh, this, right there, there it is. Yeah, oh, too far. Way too quiet. Um, damn it. Hang on, give me that back. Okay. Um, welcome to Tech Support 101. Uh, anyway, um, shoot, and the song just... Give me just a second to uh, pop in here. Audio. How's that? Any better? Still loud? Still quiet? Welcome to my home. I'll take you on a guided tour. That sounds better on my side of things. It was louder. I think that was because it was a cutscene. Uh, well, unless, hold on, unless the volume thing I'm tweaking, it does not actually go into, into the... Huh. Okay, let me try something. Because I may accidentally be tweaking the volume thing that's just for my headset. Um... How's that? Um, I will bump it up a bit on my side. Um, okay. So for the queen, she's it's okay. But if uh, anybody else, it's really loud. Let me know, and I can adjust as necessary. How am I sounding? Am I sounding too quiet or too underblown or overblown or anything like that? Um, I normally, normally, normally project really loudly, uh, naturally, um, into, and uh, it's 
hard for me to uh, keep my own voice under control, especially if I get excited. So I'm trying to not blow out OBS by compensating with a uh, few limiters on my side of things as well as some extra microphone volume. Um. <laughs> okay, well... <sighs> hmm. Okay, I think, I think, hold on. Let me bump that there. And then, oh, 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 I know a way of checking this. I'm an idiot. Um, I need... What is this coming through? This is coming from there. Okay, so yeah, no, I was absolutely tweaking the wrong volume thing. That should, that should fix it. That should be better. So that I can hear. Come on. Okay. Um. Okay. So how is that? Uh, better. Or pretty much still the same. Because I can always tweak it in the actual OBS if I have to. I'd rather not, but I could if I have to. Same. Okay, well. I'll just fucking tweak it in the OBS. One moment. And there. That, should, that will absolutely do it. And if there's no audio difference now, then I don't know. <laughs> Because literally, it has lowered the volume of what is being transmitted from my computer right now. Um, but... Whatever. I mean, if you need to, you can turn... You should... That, that's probably the only, op, the only other option. If it's still really loud. Um, but it should be much quieter now. Be, well, not necessarily much quieter, but slightly quieter. Okay, good. Then yeah, I don't. <laughs> okay. Um, how's how's my voice sounding to everybody? Like not too quiet. Actually, hold on. Let me just. Uh, I wish I brought my head, my earbuds. Testing, testing, testing. All right. My own voice sounds about what I'm trying to aim for currently, um, so we'll see if I'm actually able to maintain that as we progress. Um, hopefully, hopefully things don't get too uncommonly soft. Yes, that's kind of what I'm going for, because norm, like I like I was explaining, I normally project naturally, and that's um, not good when streaming, especially with a microphone this close to my face. Now, if my microphone was like on a stand, like, right around here or something like that, that would be different. But, anyway. Uh, Queen says hi every th hi to everybody. Um, I'm not sure who she's saying hi to. Only Mr. Generic's the one who's commented anything in the chat currently. Um, ah! Um, unless, unless uh, OBS is lying to me, there might be a Rose in the chat currently. And I believe I see science is online. Oh. Oh, the queen was trying was trying to mock me. That's what it is. Mocking my naturally loud voice. Anyway, let's get this let's get this show on the road before we get mock me anymore. Um Okay, yeah. Actually I do need to turn that down on my side of things again, because that is actually pretty loud still in my ears. Yes, the queen the queen mocks with love. I am aware of that. And for the internet for the for the boon of the internet, the queen mocks with love. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored by the queen. Although that might only that joke might only make sense if you guys watched the uh uh Yvonne B D and D stream from uh the twenty third and Sunday. Ha <laughs> ha 
Yvonne will mock me plenty, so you'll refrain. I appreciate that, I think. Um... <laughs> Why am I disconnected from chat on my on my phone? That's actually an important question. Why am I disconnected from chat on my phone? Okay, there we there we go there we go there we go. All right all right all right. Can I can I move this or is this no that's stuck there. Okay that's fine. Um. All right let's let's go ahead and load this shit up and get going. working. I remember the controls. Alright, let's go. Yeah! First try. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and save here, because I know, looking ahead at what's here, I know this is gonna be a problem. Um, like, yeah, this is... Yeah. A bunch of breakaway platforms that I have to jump multiple times across perfectly or else I will fail at getting that pickup over there. So let me just, you know, save um, so that I can quickly reload and attempt again as needed. So how's everybody's day going? Let me, let me actually get a little bit more comfortable here so that I can, excuse me, so that I can uh, more easily see and interact with people. Um, oh, 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 nope, 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 fail. Almost did it on the first, ta uh, first try. Almost on the first try. Almost made it on the first try. Sad face. There we go. Ah, nope. My thumbs are not wanting to work with the timing of these things. Actually, give me a second. Let me... Oh, my, my hands are actually feeling kind of stiff tonight. Um, I don't know why, but they are. Um, so let me... Stretch them, but you know, as you would with your normal muscles before. I mean, with your main muscles before you can work out. Nope, 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 nope. Damn it. Um, ah, <sighs> but yeah, um, oh, make sure you uh, hydrate. If you need to. Yay! Finally. Okay. That only took five tries, four tries. Um. Oh, before I forget, uh, there is Nightbot as well as Stream Elements. Although I'm still working on Stream Elements. Uh. Oops. Calm. If you hit exclamation mark commands, like I just did in the Twitch chat, a um, couple links will pop up. You click on them. They'll take you to uh, where I uh, to a list of my commands uh, that you can use uh, in the stream in order to. Um, can I get? It? Oh, I can't get out. Good. Um, in order to uh, uh, find things like my Discord and my links and my stuff like that. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear her, but one of my, one of the cats out is um, meowing outside my door. Oh, that's a hi, Croc. Ooh, okay, let's uh, get out of the water, shall we? Okay. Huh? How am I doing? How am I doing on Magnum ammo? Uh, six nine. I'm okay. I'm good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's swap back to these for now, though, just in case. Um. 
Oh, since I got that, I don't want to have to go back and do that again. So let me go ahead and save again. Uh, too much to hook in. What is over here? Hmm. Okay, so we got something. Let's let's go explore the water a little bit. Dead croc. Uh, anything over here? Nope, doesn't appear to be. Oh, ooh, that looks interesting. Uh, but I don't want to get out of that yet. Um, what is? Okay, interesting. And then, wait, can I? Go? I can go up. Oh, I. Okay, that's. Oh, I'm low on water, on air. So let me um, on breath. You know, the thing that makes living possible. One of the things that makes living possible. Um, okay, so down there, through that alcove, is a door. Oh, hello. Temple. Or, yeah, temple with a door. And, uh, two... I guess those are supposed to be centaur uh, statues. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting, he says, having totally not actually been in this room specifically before in order to get a screenshot of that temple in order to post on, uh social media for uh <clears throat> anyway <laughs> he also says having not actually pl uh, having totally totally never played this game before <laughs> um yes two centaur statues okay um Okay, I'm not seeing anything, any random pickups or anything over there, so let's go ahead and, uh, I'm not sure I want to get out of the water yet, because I want to go back to that other door that we were looking at. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything immediately, and I feel like because that door is, sh at least I think it's shut, let me just kind of, <laughs> yes, totally, totally, um, yeah, that door is shut, um. And it looks like I can actually get up top of the thing and some other stuff like that. So I will, I'm actually going to go back the other direction and we'll probably be back here um, eventually. Um, I mean, we will be back here eventually, but anyway. Okay, so. Where'd my mouse go? There it is. I have messages from my friend Desi. Hold on. Well, um, my friend Desi is going to try to make it to the stream, um, but she's she may be uh, a little late. Hopefully not. Um, anyway. Um, <laughs> oh, wait. Right, right, right. This is the direction we're going. Let's see here. Okay, there's a switch over there. Um, and that that hole is probably death. So let's try to get the high ground here. Uh, may not be death, but it is definitely water. Okay. Well, let's give it a try. Nope. Oh! Oh! Okay! I was so ready to have failed that. Uh, question. What does this look like down here? Okay. I'm not seeing anything on the ledge below me, but there's water there. 
Um, I actually fixed things? Yeah, I did actually fix things. By the way, hi, Rose. Welcome. I'm glad you're able, that you were able to make it. Ooh, there's that underwater uh, door that we were at earlier um, that I found and nearly drowned to get to. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do I want to drop down there? Or do I want to just go back? Um, what do you guys think? Uh, should I drop down into the water and see where that water goes? Or should I uh, just go back the way we came? Uh, and go to that door that I just opened. What do you guys think? Either way, I'm going to save. In case we decide that that was a bad idea. Whichever one we take is a bad idea. Uh, well... Instead of sitting here and wait, waiting all night, I'm just going to go ahead and... Fuck it. Yeet! Okay. Okay. Wait, was there anything else in there? I can always get more air. Uh... No, there's nothing else in there. Okay, more air. And then in and go. Okay. I'm glad you could make it, Rose. I missed having you harassing me on these streams. <laughs> Wait, where am I going? This way. This is the way I'm going. Is it? I think. Yes. Maybe. Yes. Or no. Ha! Nope, this is exactly where I was. Rip-a-doodle. Alright, let's try that again. I swear I'm not directionally challenged. At least not really. Okay, here we go. Ah, here we go, here we go, here we go. And... Ah, it brought us right back to the centaurs. Okay, good, good, good. Where we needed to be anyway. Now, that... Let's go explore this door that I opened. We opened. She opened. Lara did the work. Lara did the work. She deserves the credit. Okay. And there's a single switch. Interesting. Okay. Right? That's all there is in here? Yeah. All there is in here. Okay. You would never ask me. No, never. That doesn't sound like anything you'd do ever at all, ever in the history of either of our friendships, Rose. Totally, totally not something that would happen. Totally out of character for you. Okay. Um, I guess we go back. Like what the queen, like what the queen does, you harass with love. Rather than cruelty. Alright, well, that door is open. Um, I'm really not... Ooh, ominous music. And you know what ominous music means in this game? Ha, we save. And also, because I'm paranoid about anything that seems to be mystical, I'm fucking using my magnums. Alright. Uh, okay, so there's a thing over there on the left. Nothing really over there on the right other than that little segment there. Um, oh, Rose! I actually don't know... If you, I think, I think the queen's first appearance, on, uh, visitation to the stream, uh, was after you had to, uh, stop for work and life and stuff, stop visiting and hanging out because of work and life and stuff. Um, but the queen is a friend of mine who wishes to remain anonymous, and so the chat dubbed her, uh, the queen. Okay, so I can't actually get above the temple there. It looks like looked like I could, but better different angles but yeah so when i refer to the queen i'm referring to an actual person not like the queen of england or something abstract she can't have your castle no she's got her own castle so you know okay do we want to try for the door or do we want to go exploring over there i want to go exploring over there ah, okay Now 
magic centaurs shooting fucking explosive bombs. That makes sense. <sighs> Do I wanna... Let, let's heal up before I try to... See if you, you, are you are you uh, are you good or will you uh, how am I doing on ammo? Well, you won't tell me. Wait, how am I doing on ammo? Six eighteen. Okay, I'm fine. I didn't even use eighty rounds. Close, but not. Hello, Senor. No. Okay. Okay, well, maybe when I actually approach the door properly, he'll uh, that one will open up. But, did it drop anything? No, it didn't. Nothing back here. Okay. What's over here? Absolutely frickin' nothing. Okay. Oops. I did not mean to do that. I tried to jump, but I failed. Excuse me. Well? Nope. Nope. Alright. I'm, I'm gonna go through the door here, man. Do you, have, do you have anything to say about it? I I mean it. I mean it. I am I'm going to go in here. Are you going you going to try to stop me? No? Uh, I can I can okay. 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 I mean it. Like this is your last chance to stop me from going in here. Okay. All right. Like, okay, for real, dude. Seriously. Your buddy popped up, but you're not? Like, at all. <laughs> really? Okay. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna have to shoot you later, aren't I? Damn it. Okay. Okay, fine. Alrighty. Ooh. Big red room. Blue ceilings. I love the wallpaper. It looks fancy. Definitely, uh, definitely tomb chic. I am going to save, though, because I have this increasingly ominous feeling happening. <laughs> okay. Still magnums, still magnums. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's see. Um. All right. Get off the brazier. A little late for the price giving, no? Ah, DuPont. Still, it is the taking part not count. Will you let me kill you now, bitch? Hey, he let me kill him now. Bitch. All right, he had a key. Oh, he had a piece of the key on. Cool. So um, we have a gold key now. Uh, okay, okay, interesting. And uh, a second part of the key on. All right, and a bunch. Well, I don't know if it was a bunch, but we got um some ammo stuff. Um, wait, anything? Was it for a new gun? Did we get a new gun? No, we didn't get a new gun. Okay. Well. Ding dong, the bitch is dead. <laughs> DuPont has been such a pain in the ass this entire level. Ugh. But he's dead, finally. Okay, well, that looks like it'll open. Uh, right over there. Um, hold on. Is this actually something I can read, or... No, it's just vaguely Greek symbols. Okay. Um, ah! Okay. Well, so there's... That's where the gold key probably goes to um 
I mean, what's to stop me from just walking out the front door? So I have the ski on. He's dead. I could. I mean, there's, there's really no way out to go back that way, but... Okay, we'll just keep going. Wait, what's over here? Okay. And a dead end. Okay. And another dead end. Okay. Doesn't hurt to check. All right, so let's um, let's get up to this next level up. Ooh, there is something over here. Cool, cool, cool. Magnum ammo score. Uh, what is that put us up to? Six ten. We're back in the six hundreds. Score. Uh, oh, looks like there's more over there. I am terrified of stuff. Ah, I think it'll be fine. Okay. Then, coming over here. There we go. So those were more, sorry, I got a message from somebody and I was looking to see what that, what that was about. Back up to 660. All right, cool. We're only 20 away from what we had when we started the level. Or the stream, even. Ooh, a large medical pack. Those are always fun. So how you been, Rose? You been, um, well, I know the answer to what I was about to ask. I was going to ask if you've been behaving yourself, but I know the answer to that is never. Um, so, um, how's, how's life been? Uh, have you started back at work yet, from the holidays yet? Or, um... You can be a good girl without necessarily behaving yourself. <sighs> you did start work? Okay. Uh, first day, second day. Here lies Tahokan, one of the two just rulers of Atlantis, who even after the curse of the continent had day tried two. to keep rule <clears throat> here in these barren other lands. He died without child, and his knowledge has no heritage. Look over us kindly. To hope oh, and apparently we're done. Well, <laughs> so be it. Uh, we got two of two secrets, 26 pickups, 16 kills. <clears throat> Interesting that we didn't trigger that second centaur. that means Atlantis destruction and stuff and now she's apparent now we're apparently in Egypt good to good to know okay um, <clears throat> so brief rundown of what just the fuck happened um,
Um, but yeah, just a brief rundown of what the fuck happened. Uh, before I forget, though, uh, Rose, was your first and second day back good? First and second day back good? Um, all right. Basically, she found the two pieces of the ski on. She put them together into one, um, which is what she has um, in with her. Uh, and it gave her a bit of a vision, um, apparently. Um, basically, it looked like the ancient civilization of Atlantis uh, had a massive golden pyramid or something like that. And three potentially rulers, mages, I don't fucking know. Um and uh, I guess we'll find out maybe more as we go. Um, but yeah, three people with their three parts of the ski on. They combined the ski on. Um, it released a terror, a tremendous rush of power. Um, brought a meteor down on Atlantis, I guess. Uh, and then showed her where, like, in the process of it, they took the one of the pieces of the ski on from one of the three people and imprisoned them and then yeeted the ski on, the piece of the ski on into apparently Egypt. Um, and uh, that's where we are currently. Um, so yeah. Um, meh, couple of meh days. I mean, better than straight up bad days. Let's go ahead and save since we're in a new level. It's still really interesting that we didn't have to kill that second centaur. I wonder if there's something that I did that caused it to either glitch or just not trigger. Like, I wonder if I was supposed to go in there and fight it before I opened that one door or something. I don't know. Okay. I'm sorry your uh, first two... Oof. Ow. Um, I should look where I drop, because if I had been like, you know, an inch to the le to the to the right, I'd have been fine. Oof. Oh well. Um. Oh, that looks movable. Let me try to move that. <laughs> Climb that cheese, man. I now need the reskin where this all is just cheese and um, Lara is reskinned as a mouse. I need. Oh, it can move. Good. I need that reskin. Okay, I don't know what that would have done. Is there anything behind it? There was nothing behind there. Okay, well. Interesting. Alright, so I can grab that ledge and shimmy over there. There's a... Oh, there's a, a switch there. Okay. Um, I came from up there. Uh, but welcome... Ha! <laughs> no, it's not the reskin. This is the original. Uh... Can I get up here? Nope. Okay. I think you're just hungry, man. Have you had... Have you had dinner? Supper? Whatever? Because, I mean, it doesn't look like rock and sand, that's true, but I, I would not say it looks like cheese or gouda in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> well, okay, that wall actually kind of looks a little bit like, like, um, Swiss cheese, without the holes. What was that? It was probably the door directly below me. Nope. Okay. I mean, there were worse graphics of the era. You have, you do have to remember this was '96. There was something behind it. Hmm. 
You quite possibly did. However, I'm also pretty sure that Banjo-Tooie came out after this game did, which means that if they had those textures after Banjo-Tooie, uh, with Banjo-Tooie after this game was out, then Banjo-Tooie was really behind its time, you know? That's all. That's, you know. Yeah, I know. I know you are. That said, I really do think Banjo Tooie, um, like they, a lot of games did use similar style of graphics in this era. The w only, the only thing is they, um, um, I'm pretty sure that those ones also, uh, um, that those ones were also the ones that, um came out later because if i if i do remember correctly like tomb raider 1 when it first came out in 96 was ahead of its time graphically speaking like it's still really rough like don't get me wrong the graphics are rough but it was ahead of its time from what i recall <clears throat> okay so now my question is okay i should be able to make that Guess. Oh wait, 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 wait! Can I just can I just do this? Do this? No. Okay. Thought not. Oh shoot! Banjo Tooie was 2000. Dang. That's a lot later than I thought it was. I was expecting like, well, I guess Nintendo 64. Yeah. Oops. That's true. It was Nintendo 64, and it was late. Nintendo 64, from what I recall. Like, I think by the time Banjo 2 came out, the PS2 was on its way. I think. Now that I think about it. I'm not sure, though. Right. Oh. Well, that. Oh, shoot! It ate me. Like, instantly. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Um, also, let me swap to the uh, swap back to the Magnums. Dang. Oh shoot! Instantly dies. I know, right? <laughs> well, the problem... The problem was... It, as soon as it got up on me, I was dead. Like, my health bar vanished. Um, okay, let me actually drop directly here. Rather than to, to hurt myself. Um, oh wait, why am I doing that? Because I know the order of operations here. Um, Harry, can you do me a favor and look to see what, uh, what year uh, the PlayStation 2 came out? in comparison to Banjo-Tooie. March of 2000? Okay, so it was already out by the time that um, Tooie came out. That's interesting. One more over here. But how's your day been, uh, Howie? That's good. Very nice. Were you watching the uh, re-released, re-released, remastered, and um, unfillered uh, Dragon Ball Kai? 
Or did you just stick to uh, the original? I don't know why I did that when I could easily have done it a different way. Nah, -uh -uh. there we go. Um, it depends on if you're watching the Cartoon Network version or not. The, um, it was only the Cartoon Network version that edited it, which I believe, um, like with Sailor Moon, it had, a multiple different dubs that came out. Not gonna get me this time, bitch. Um... Yeah, last time I was so obsessed by the creepy ass looking face thing on the, in the distance. Um, but yeah, depending on the there there was several different dubs um, for DBZ, um, and uh, there was very much the ooh a small medical pack cool. Um, it was very much when it was going out on Cartoon Network for Toonami that it was uh, edited to change his name to Hercule. Um, and then when they released the unedited for Cartoon Network version on Adult Swim uh, later, they that's when they uh, released the originally dubbed version. <laughs> It still completely blows my mind that Laura Bailey is Kid Trunks. Oh! Oh, oh, God. That's, um... Um... I hope it can't get me up here. Like Boo Saga Trunks. Yeah, Laura Bailey was Boo Saga Trunks. And it's um because of her that Travis Oh man. Yeah, Travis basically the story they tell is before they were dating, um they'd met once and she'd get um they'd exchanged numbers uh I forget was that like some kind of official function thing. But then um he Found out that she was working on DBZ and he loves DB loved loved DBZ, you know, because of course he did. And he was like, "Shoot, it would be awesome to work for them." And he's like, "Oh, I know Laura. I have Laura Bailey's number." So he called her up and it was like, "Hey, it's Travis. You probably don't remember me." Um, and she's just like, "Uh huh, uh huh. I'm getting strange call uh, called by a strange man who I don't remember who's asking me for a job. I'm just going to completely ignore this." Um, but then after meeting up again, uh, some other time, and she d did actually recognize him and remember him, she did, um, uh, pull some strings, and he ended up working, I believe he voiced Broly in the movies. I don't remember who he voiced, um, but I think, I think he voiced Broly, I'm not sure. But, yeah, she did Kid Trunks. Even back then, they were part of our... It is an adorable story. Um, even back then, they were so solidified in our lives and child, uh, childhoods. Okay, I don't think I can get up to that. Um, well, under, an underground sphinx. Probably not the only one that exists in the world. Um, considering how much has been lost to the desert over time. Interesting. Okay, so we got a uh, pillar of some sort with at least two different sides on it of things that I should put, need to put things into. Right. That's fair. That's fair. Um, you said you finished the Cell Saga?
Oh, okay. So let's look at this. Here's hoping that there's nothing deadly in the water. Oh, get, go back. Get the get the get the ammo. Lara, Lara, Lara. Grab the, grab the. Come on, grab the ammo. There you go. Oh, more. Yeah, okay, so there are, uh, so each of the four sides of this pillar have different uh, symbols and stuff that I need to put into them. Um, this one looks like an Ankh, or maybe uh, th the symbol of Isis, which are not the same thing. Um, that looks like, oh, that might be the Eye of Horus right there, the, that weird semi-square looking thing. Um, then there were two circular looking things. Yeah, this one, which has a scarab on it, looks like. And, uh, that looks like a ball of some sort. Okay. Uh. Um, well, with, <laughs> with DBZ, yes and no. Uh, with the, Mo with DBZ, the manga was written as a, um, direct continuation of Dragon Ball. Like, it was, there is no DBZ manga, because it's all just Dragon Ball, right? There's a specific point where they time skip to the, uh, to, um, a bit and then they time skip again to the beginning of Dragon Ball Z and then they just basically at that point he didn't the right the the mangaka the writer did not know how many more arcs he was going to be allowed so he just kept writing and writing and writing that said the cell saga was supposed to be the final 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 saga but by that point the anime had already come out oh i bet i can move that rock um, the anime had been, had, had come out and was a hit in both Japan and America. Um, and so he had, so they were like, no, we need more, man. We need more. We need more. And, um, so he was, uh, convinced into doing the Boo arc. And, um, well, the Frieza, the Frieza saga kind of ends with Goku being thought to be dead. Ooh, a key. Um, and so they needed a, a way to bring Goku back and have him on Earth again. Um... And he, uh, he, um, and so that's where we eventually got to the cell arc. Um, but the cell arc was supposed to be the end because you said you finished the cell arc, correct? Because what I was about to say might be spoilers if you haven't finished it, finished it. Okay, so, um, yeah, with, um, with the cell, the goal, wait, kinda? What do you mean, kinda? Ah, the future, okay, if you're on the future Trunks epilogue, this has nothing to do with that. Um, the goal was, um, that epilogue was amazing, by the way. 
Um, I loved that epilogue, and I also loved the uh, the the prequel movie that they made, the the history of Trunks or whatever they called it. That was so good. Oh my god, it was so good. Um, but anyway, the uh, I need to decide where I need to go with this. Um, I need to get that door open. I think. Um, I don't think I can actually go up this slant. Trunks was a lot of people's favorites just because he he had such an amazing aesthetic with the uh, the jacket and the hair, and he had such a badass Super Saiyan hairstyle that a lot of people that he was a lot of people's favorites just because he had that that amazing aesthetic. I don't want to go down there yet. Actually, I might not even be able to go down there yet. Um, oh well, there's a key, and I bet uh, there's a keyhole, and I bet the key I have opens that. But let's see what else I can do first. Um, you hated his Super Saiyan hairstyle? I mean, I can see why. I did, I, like, it was cool, but, like, it was not my favorite hair, Super Saiyan hairstyle at all, by any means. Okay, that gate can't open, at least not from this side, and has a large medical pack next to it. Can I get up here? No. Um, like, it, his whole initial introduction was so badass. And then... Like you and he he just had such a vastly different appearance compared to any other character, most other characters that you saw in the series, um, that he just kind of stands out. But then after him being around for a bit, it just kind of you just kind of get used to him. That was my experience at least. Uh. Guaranteed versus Rockley. <laughs> that typo, though. That um, autocorrect, though, I mean. Um, yeah, Gara versus Rockley is a pretty epic fight. It's not the one I go back to when I when I want to just watch an epic Naruto fight, though. Um, and Trunks versus King Cold was pretty great, too. Um, I'm just going to come up here and run up here in case there's some Black Panthers that want to eat my ass. And not in the fun way. Ooh, a medical pack. Um, hmm, some statues. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, to finish what I was saying, um, the one, the one I go to is, um, oh shoot, what is it? It's, um, it's the, uh, I think it, I genuinely don't remember. It's one of the it's one of Naruto's specific fights. Um, I don't remember which one though. Um, I'm completely blanking on who he fought. I could see it in my head, but I'm completely blanking on the character that he was fighting. Um, but that's okay, cause um, I was talking about uh, Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Z. Um, so let me finish my thought on that, so that I can actually focus on how many tales. I mean, it depends. Are we talking Shippuden dif uh, separate from uh, from main Nar from the original Naruto series? <laughs> um, no, it was the the one I go back to is the um, it might be Naruto versus Gara that I go back to. Oh, hey, look, a Black Panther. It's like I knew. I didn't, but it's like I knew that they would have one in here. <laughs> I didn't, because I didn't remember there being one in here, for sure. But it just felt like it. Anyway, um... Goku versus Tien from Dragon Ball was amazing. There were a lot of amazing Dragon Ball fights. The one thing that I... After having actually sat through Dragon Ball, um... That I, you know... I went into Dragon Ball very... Did he? Did, did, did that little bastard just run away outside of the spin? Yes, he did. Get back here, bitch. <laughs> nah, he's shooting at me. I'm just gonna run away. I mean, smart. But anyway, um, what was I saying? I'm so distractible right now. The um. Uh, 
Um, okay. Um, the, uh... What? Wrong button. That's not what I meant to do. Actually, yes, it is. How am I doing on ammo? Um, decent amount there. Decent amount... Actually, I have more than a decent amount there. Um... 19 there, 18 there. How am I on health? Health is good. Okay. Um, but yeah, to finally finish my thought. Oh, shoot! Uh, um, the, uh... Is there something in there that I can... Oh, there's a window. Ooh, there's a key. Okay, um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, the cell, the, unlike the Frieza and Goku fight, uh, uh, the Frieza death arc thing, um, Goku was always intended on coming back from that, from Frieza, you know? Like, there was always intended to be more there. Um, the, with Cell, though, there was not. Cell was supposed to be the end. Um, and you can tell that be, well, other than the fact that they've that he said as much, um, Ooh, I bet that's a pressure plate. Um, other than the fact that he said as much, the uh, the evidence for it is that the uh, um, let's get it on and see what's in here. Um, Gohan. It was supposed to finish the li whole succession, uh, succession, uh, succession of Goku to Gohan thing. Go they were supposed to solidify that Gohan be uh, is uh, the strongest forever, and um, that he uh, grabbed the thing. There you go. Um, and that he was going to take over his father's place, and that Goku was just never going to come back to life. Um, I'm not sure I want to be in here yet. Because there's music playing, I'm not sure I want to be in here yet. So I'm going to exit this room. Um, but yeah, he was supposed to... It was supposed to be Gohan is the strongest, having fully completed the Ascended Saiyan form and defeated Cell and etc. Doing the one thing that none of the actual full-blooded Saiyans or Trunks were able to do. Um because of his kind heart that the others had lost or n didn't have quite the extent of. Um, he didn't have the lust of battle of Go for battle that Goku had. He had the, and he had the uh, intelligence that Goku didn't have. But he had the kind heart that Vegeta did not have. And the kind heart that uh, Trunks had lost from his, uh, future experiences. Um. The, um. There's nothing in there. Nothing over there next to the cat statue thing. But yeah, so Go Gohan was supposed to be, like, the I take up the fort, the, the torch from that point, and, um, but yeah, they, they, and then as Generic said, they fucked it all up because of the, um, um, because the makers of the anime were, uh, begging for more. Um, because they knew that they, they didn't want it to end yet. And so he's like, fine, I'll do one more thing. Um, and they wanted, and so he brought back, so, you know, that's what the boost, how the boo saga happened. And now I'm back where I was. Um, okay, I'm really not seeing any other options here. Um, so there's that gate. Uh, what is your question? Um, ascended Saiyan is... Uh, it, like, the proper asc completed asc Ascended Saiyan is Super Saiyan 2. However, the big bulky form of uh, what... Uh, Vegeta and Trunks and even Goku displayed are is not technically actually the Ascended. Oh, oh, damn it! I knew that was gonna happen too, but I took my eye off the ball long enough to check the chat. Um, it's not quite the strength of two. Um, 
like they actually it's close it's it's oh please don't put me all the way back at the fucking beginning i should have saved so much more frequently than i did uh it, it's close it's um the super saiyan 2 uh, the Goku did not hit Super Saiyan 2. Only Gohan hit Super Saiyan 2. Um, which is what Goku said was likely to be the case, given... I'm going to bypass the shimmying entirely and just come in here and hit this fucking switch. Um, uh, Goku was unable to. It was only uh, Gohan that was able to. Um, and the... Oh, I just realized that the last playthrough, I totally forgot to go behind the, blo the block and get the stuff back there. Anyway... Um, I forget the reasoning for why Goku couldn't, at the time, hit Super Saiyan 2. Um, there was, there was a barrier that the other, that they were missing. There was some, some level of something, I forget what, I forget what, um, that they were missing. And, uh. No, uh, no, the, they were, they were using, um, basically it's a, it's Super Saiyan 1.5 is a glorified way of, of saying it. Nope. Um, the, um, in, in the game, in, uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2 or 1, I forget which, uh, in, one of the DBZ Budokai games, I think it might even be the first one, um, it's, they call it Super Saiyan Powered Up, and then Super Saiyan Powered Up uh, X2 or something like that. And that's like the best way of describing it, because it's not, um, there is no, um, uh, beca because they're not actually breaking out of the Super Saiyan 1 range. Um, and completing that, uh, transformation into two. Four, four is apocryphal. Four doesn't technically exist in canon. Um, GT, which was an American-made show and had no input from the creators of, the original creators of the, of Dragon Ball Z. Or Dragon Ball, for that matter. Um, Dragon Ball GT is non-canon. Um, shit, 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 There are elements of GT that they stole that were fan loved, like Gogeta and um, and some elements like that. But Super Saiyan 4, in and of itself, was a little like even like it was one of those things where it was like cool, but also not because fan. It was it, from what I recall reading about it, it had a mixed reception from fans. Um, okay, let's shoot this weird mummified cat-like thing. Okay. Um, now let me come up here and get the things that are over here. Um, yeah, th there are some elements of it that are canon, there are some elements of it that are not. Um, and one of the things that is not canon about it is Super Saiyan 4. Um, unless specifically said otherwise by Dragon Ball Super. Um, they are two separate entities, and you'll see when you watch. Because, spoilers... They they exp they show you the the difference essentially between them. Until you watch Boo, you will the uh, that's all all you're gonna get. Until you watch the Boo saga, that's all you're getting. Um, I mean generic may override that and give you all kinds of spoilers if you let him, 
but my response is the answer to any further deeper answer to that question is going to be spoilers. Uh, no. Originally, Gogeta was not canon at all. Um, he was a, uh, it, it was a name, it was a name-based joke, um, in the Japanese anime, uh, the Japanese manga. Um, and, uh, they decided, um, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, the, uh, it was not going to be used. It was just going to be a name-based joke. Um, but then, uh, people liked the name of it, and so they incorporated Gogeta into one of the movies, which the canon of the movies are dubious as fuck. Yeah. The, the canon of the original... Yeah, the one with Janemba, which is in like the can the canonicity of the original movies is um is dubious as hell. Um, I think that's everything I need to do in here. I'm gonna go ahead and save. That way I don't have to do all that again. Um, a third time. But um, generally speaking, okay. It's complicated, because there are technically two canons of Dragon Ball Z, right? So there's Dragon Ball, and then there there's Dragon Ball Z, and then there's the non-fillerized canon of it that was in the manga, right? The true canon. Um, however, the filler one technically kind of complicatedly includes the canon of the movies as well in them up to a specific point um not the new ones not the new movies the um the old the old movies that came out um and that includes the one with janemba that generic and i were talking about um and it's just the reason even that even, oops laura that's not what i meant to do it's not what i meant to tell you to do i'm sorry um the uh from my understanding of it, the reason, the main reason why the canonicity of it all, even in the filler DBZ, is uh, dubious, is because of the fact that the, uh, technically speaking, several of those movies take place at the same, like they have to take place at the same time as uh, certain other uh, uh, plot lines of the show that are happening. So like. Uh, what's it called? Um, Jin the Janemba one is actually a perfect example. Um, because it takes place in the middle of the food crisis. And so you're supposed to believe that the, during the, the whole boost, the whole boo story arc, uh, the whole plot of the Janemba movie happens at the same time as it. And you're supposed to be like, okay, that makes sense. Except it doesn't at all. And, oh, I need to get that health pack over there. And I, oh, you know what I just realized? I totally forgot to actually go behind that brick, that block again and get those goodies back there. So let me go back and get those. Um, um and so it's one of those things where it's like, eh, dubiously canon <laughs> right exactly exactly like that um and so with like dbz they just kind of oops Ooh, that was not nearly as bad as i was afraid it was going to be so with dbz they just kind of crammed it all in there and said that it's canon and you know that it is canon within the fillers of the show because of the fact that you have uh the garlic jr saga that happens after frieza but before cell um and garlic jr 
is specifically reference uh, that saga very specifically references if the events of the garlic jr movie which itself is not a canon event from the manga to my knowledge um So it's one of those things where it's like, eh. So you've got, um, I've talked about this a little bit with uh, Josh, but he's very uh, opinionated, as you may have. Um, he's not at all. He's from one of the movies. Uh, there's a couple of movies that they that released that take place between Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Um, there's... Gar um, I forget what they actually call it, but there's the one that introduces Garlic Jr., and then there's the uh, one called The World's Strongest or something like that. Um, and uh, those both take place while Gohan is still very much, much younger than he was when Raditz shows up. Um, oh, shoot. And I'm dead. Damn it. Well, anyway, let me come back here and swap to the magnums. Um, I started to say that um, one of the things that you end up appreciating about um, having that I started appreciating. Um, about Dragon Ball after uh, after actually sitting and watching it was how, uh, is the difference in fights between Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Um, they're they're actually similar to the difference in fights between uh, early stage Naruto and late stage Naruto. Um. And, and by which I mean that uh, early stage Naruto fights were very uh, martial art focused and nin and uh, proper ninja technique focused and stuff. And then exactly. And then late stage Naruto fights were basically DBZ Kamehameha waves at each other um, until one of them actually hits. Um, and that's essentially what the difference between Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z is, as well. Um, and, uh... Damn it. Okay. And so, with, uh, Dragon, in Dragon Ball, the fights tend to be a bit more proper martial arts type of stuff. But then, after a specific point of when they reach Dragon Ball Z, the fights become, well, Dragon Ball Z. Um, oh, I already have the stuff up here. Okay. Okay. Did I get the stuff in the water yet? I don't think I did. Did I? Well, I don't see that set of ammo that I... I've got, this would be the third time I would have gotten. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got the stuff in the water. Um, but yeah, the, um, to finish what I was trying to say, the, um, okay, and now we save again so that I don't have to backtrack next time I die. <laughs> when I inevitably die from these panthers again. Um, I'm sorry, what were we talking about before I got um, distracted by talking about the Dragon Ball fighting again? Um, let me scroll back and see if I can figure it out. Oh, the can canonicity of things. Um, Two moons on an old man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, basically. Um... <laughs> Come on. 
Come on. Target the fucking pan- Target the panther. Tar target. There you go. And it's dead. Okay. Um. But yeah, the, um. Okay, and now let's save. Because I'm about to be fighting another panther. Um. Oh, there it is. Okay. <sighs> Alrighty. Um. And look, we're back in the room where I was when I last died. When I first died. Well, not first died, but more. Okay. And I'm gonna save it there. <laughs> Um, inflammatory comments that I'm going to assume that you're specifically leaving out to avoid the inflammation. Ah, basics shown in his trash stuff. I mean, it has its moments. Um, but part of the reason why Shonen is such trash is because of the stereotype that was brought around by the Dragon Ball Z filler. And the, uh, ooh. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, by the Dragon Ball Z filler and by the, uh, format the fights took in Dragon Ball Z. Because they, with how overpowered it all is and all of that stuff. Um... That, that, like, it's entirely DBZ's fault that Shonen is trash. Yeah. And I fully... Oh, shit. Shonen, like, I will fully agree that Shonen is trash. Like, that is absolutely true. However, I mean, junk food is still delicious. Right. Yeah. I mean, basically, if Shonen hadn't decided, wow, DBZ set such a standard with P with fans in in places like America, that they uh, that they then decided that they should um, then turn that into the hallmark of everything they do. Um, all right. Let's trigger that. There's stuff up there. I'll be dealing with that in a minute. I probably have to go under the water first. How am I doing on time? It's 7.32. Okay. Um. You're out? Meaning you're leaving? Get out of the water. Where'd he go? Ah, there he is. Come back here. Come back here, bitch. You're out now, she a hater. I'm I'm not following it at all. I'm I'm what's being said at all. So were you saying that because you're leaving or because of um I'm I'm confused. Mm. 
Also, I would like to say that I saw hater and my brain immediately translated it into healer, and I was also confused. So I'm like, Yvonne, if anything, Yvonne is not a healer. She stepped in a minute and expressed this. You declared her a hater. Oh, it was Yvonne saying, quote, I'm out now. I got it. I follow. Tell her she has her own Twitch account that she can be harassing me on. No, that's just scenery. Ooh, hold on. I think I can push that. Oh, wait, no, I can't because it's mirrored on the other side. Yes, I can. No, I can't. I, uh, I'm going to try. <coughs> Your phone may be dead, but you, have a, but you have a computer that works just as well. <coughs> With a keyboard and mouse and everything. <coughs> So I have no pity. Well, that sound was um, traumatizing. Oh, OK. Well, that's new. Um. Not next to, to Howie. Well, you could fix that. Just saying. Nope, nope can't do that. Okay. And there's, there's nothing I can I can grab and shimmy, but I can't pull up. Um, I I understand. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I bet I can. Yeah, I bet I can shuffle that around to here, and that would allow me to get up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so me. <laughs> I love the way you said that. <laughs> As a white man, I'm not allowed to type what she said. <laughs> Because, I mean, legit. Also, not on, on top of that, <laughs> as we're online, <laughs> on a platform that I do not want to get banned from, I will not say it. <laughs> No, that is not what's holding me back. I'm just saying you could say it in multiple different... You, you could justify it in multiple different ways. There's so, 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 so many reasons why white men should never say that or anything close to it. I was just pointing out that there could be... You could point... You could claim multiple reasons. Ooh, there's a door on my left. Anything gonna kill me from it? Nope. Okay. Can I push this again? I think I can. <laughs> I mean... That wouldn't be all I'd uh, expect to be getting. If that was all I got for saying that, that then that is severely underpunished. Okay, I don't think I can actually get in there yet. Uh, I don't think there's any point for me to go over there yet, is what I'm trying to say. So I think the point is to go up into that. 
or something. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, and oh, now we're on the the fenced-in bridge over the other thing. Okay. Uh, was that a switch? That was a switch. Let me save. <laughs> Um, Desi message saying she was going to try to get in here. Um, if you're actually able to watch Desi, uh, shoot a message either into the chat or into wherever you're comfortable shooting said message. Okay, there's a thing over there and a drop and a, okay. Because she said she was going to be getting on shortly. Um. To watch just we're close to eight o'clock is all so I just want to make sure that you're actually watching some of it <coughs> also Queen if you're still here let me know because you have been quiet for a while. She was. Um, she was at the start. Um, she may still be. Um, hey, Desi! Welcome! I'm glad you could make it. I only have 19 minutes left in my stream. Progress! Yeah, it's absolutely better than missing it. One hell of a day. Yeah. You'll have to tell me about it when you have a second. Obviously not publicly on the internet for, you know, literally everybody to see. Unless you want, but I mean. Um, in case you don't... Uh, in case you can't tell... Um, the S-T-R-G-T-S-C-N-T-S-T, -S -S -T, that is Howie. Um, we play, you played D&D with him May in May um, a year or so ago. Two years ago, actually. Three, three years ago? Three years ago? Was it three years ago? Um, and then with him is Yvonne, but she's her phone is currently dead, so she's unable to actually join us without harassing him for his, his keyboard. Um, and, uh, you do not know Mr. Generic name, but he's awesome. And, uh, the queen, you have not met either, but she's, um, she's also not responded to me. So either she's, um, busy or tuned out or walked away from her device or you know, whatever. Um, yes, the queen does need her rest. Um, she and Desi both need their rest. <laughs> like, geez. Right, let, me, let me save, because... It... This is one of those places where a misstep equals death. Um... <laughs> I'm kind of sad that, it, like, if she is actually missing this, I'm kind of sad that the queen is, uh, missing this, because if she is actually missing this because I am in Egypt, and she loves all things Egypt. Makes sense. She's a queen. Okay, so I could slide down there. Oh, there's a health pack down there. I could go for that. Um, there was some stuff I noticed on that door there. Um, I can't get to that door without essentially losing all my progress, I don't think. So let's just go over here and slide down. Okay. 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 That's where I want to ultimately go, but I want to make sure I get all the goodies that I can.
MK, MK, MK. Um, I hear a crocodile. right and now it's dead let me save because i'm about to do something really stupid and it's probably gonna suck ah, i made it score and it was a secret too all right I actually need to pause it there for a second, guys. I have to step away from the computer for a minute. I will be right back. Enjoy the intermission screen. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm back. <laughs> um, I had a uh, thing I needed to address in the other room. That was loud? The intermission audio was loud? Is that what you're saying what was loud? Okay. Uh... Desi, A-A-Z-X... Um, I figured that I was about to ask, was that Uno? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm quiet. I am very specifically trying to be quiet, um, because I peek the hell out of my microphone on a regular basis otherwise. Uh, so I have myself turned down. Um, let me turn myself up a tad bit, but also let me address the intermission audio issue. Uh... It's going to get loud again in a, a second. Uh, I'll, I'll turn it. I, I need to readjust all of my audio um, uh, in order to compensate for me being quieter. Um, but yeah. So anyway, I'll, I'll mess with that afterwards. Um, just be warned the outro will be loud as well. Um was the first right okay so i have that one i have that i'm just quickly checking through the uh the old thing checklist that's what i'm looking for that's the word i'm looking for all right um all right um, all right, so I've been up there and over there and in there. I think I've gotten 
been up there and over there. I've not been up there. I don't think I can get up there where that tree is. Maybe I can. Maybe not yet. Um... We have about 10 minutes left of the stream. Um, I am going to... I have not stood on this yet. Does this do anything? Ooh, medical pack. Hmm, no sign of traps. Yeah, we have about 10 minutes left of the stream. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play for about 5 more minutes. Um, and then I'll start winding it down. Um, if that sounds good for anybody, for everybody. I mean, I could go longer, but I'd rather stick to my actual schedule. Because what, because that's the professional thing to do, you know? Anyway. Oops, I did not mean to fall into the water. Lara, get out of the water, please. Okay. Um. Okay. I see nothing else. Okay. Then I guess my only option is in here. And saving first. Okay. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Cat statue on top of a pole. Lol. Um, I guess you could call that a, uh, pole cat. I'm ashamed. I mean, I'm not, because that was great, and that was a grade A comedy, and I'm happy with that. <laughs> I got a laugh out of Desi. That, I'll take it. Ooh. I hear growling panthers. Ooh, that I see a panther. Another one. Yes, yes, I do know that. Maybe I can get a bit. Can I get a bit closer? Yeah. I can. Okay. Damn. Come on. Come on, guys. That's one. Where's the other? Did I already get it? Oh no! I think I just saw his movement. Well, he's, if he's still alive, he's down to, like, one more shot. Ah! A hatch. Okay. Ah, and some light. Oh, did I get both of them? I did indeed get both of them, apparently. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Now what's over here? Oh, another look, look, another cat statue. Is there anything below me? Um, nothing out of the ordinary. I want to check out this alcove over here. Ah, an ammo. Okay, two more minutes. Alright, I could just drop down. But I'm not sure I want to. Let's see where else I can go first. Looks like a little bit of steps down that way. So can I tell where they go? Ooh. Yes, I can. Okay. The key is gentle. <gasps> or... 
not. Well, it's 7.55, so that means our stream is almost over. <laughs> Where did I save? You're here to be annoying and we'll probably leave soon. Well, you came in just in time to actually promote yourself in Discord if you hop in to be a voice chat person. Okay, I'm not actually that far away. It's fine. Um, I'll just exit that menu here. Um, because my stream is almost done. So, you know, the usual stuff. Um, let me get that going. How, how poor is, how, how unable to see that is, to be, to be seen is that. Uh, that is actually pretty difficult to see. Let me see if I can't get a better. Eh, that is... There we go, that's much better. Okay. <laughs> um, where was I? There it is. Um, it's almost 8 o'clock, which means my stream is basically up. Uh, my time is basically up, not my stream. I mean, I guess it is. But, anyway. Um, remember that the, v the VOD of this stream will be going up on YouTube, hopefully no later than tomorrow morning. Um, the VOD of yesterday's stream is already available on YouTube. It was available actually surprisingly quickly after, um, last week's stream. I'm uh, not last week's stream, yesterday's stream. Um, I did not stream last week. Last week was holidays. Anyway, um, but yeah, it's, uh, all prior VODs for this stream as well as my other streams, my Assassin's Creed streams, are available on my YouTube. Excuse me. Uh, almost uh, just forgot to type that in. Uh, the you the link to my YouTube is available in my link tree. Um, I typed this before he before Twitch Jesus, but I mean, I could have I can change it. I could change it if I wanted to. Um, eh, yeah. Sure. Right then and there. Live. Um. Anyway, so the um, YouTube link is available in my link tree. It's also available down below in the bios and in all the different things. If you're actually watching this on YouTube, I appreciate you. I love you guys very much. Please like and subscribe and feel free to leave me any comments. Um, you know. I'll take whatever you throw at me. Uh, <laughs> but, um, please like and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. Um, but, yeah, tune in next week, um, Monday, 2.30 p.m. U.S. Central Time, for the continuation of Crimson Plays Assassin's Creed 2, um, where, you know, I play Assassin's Creed, currently on Assassin's Creed 2. Um, that is 2.30 to 4.30 p.m. Central Time. Um, then next Tuesday, I will be continuing. Unless something comes up and blocks it, I will be playing Tomb Raider uh, Tuesday again uh, next week on Tuesday, 6 p.m. Central to 8 p.m. Central. Um, so, yeah. Um, before you go, you should follow me on my socials if you have not already. I am uh, My link tree is, avail is visible on screen currently. Um, and the links to my link tree are currently available th courtesy of both Stream Elements and Nightbot. Um, they, I have a Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, Discord, um, Instagram, and Tumblr links available in my link tree, um, as well as links to things like Crisis Resources and various twi and the various Twitch channel which, eh, Twitch channels that are also currently visible on screen as well. Um, so. Please, um, please come say hi on the follow me there, or come say hi to me in my Discord. Um, and speaking of my other friends, whose links are on the screen, uh, you should check them out. They're Yvonne B, Melador, also known as uh, that is being that we are going to insist on calling him Twitch Jesus until he actually changes his name, and then we're just going to call him Matt forever. Um, Eternity and Cosplay Katie. Their URLs are on screen, as I keep saying. 
Um, they're also available in my link tree as well. If you're watching this on YouTube, they will be down below in the description. Um, along with all of these other links, all of, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, all of these links that I'm talking about all are available in the description. Um, so you don't have to, so they're not just like Twitch chat exclusives or anything like that. Um, but yeah, first up, let me check to see if she's actually in said discord. She is, and she's currently muted. Um, I didn't want to, I didn't want to interrupt. Didn't, you didn't want to interrupt? I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, first up is Yvonne. Hi, hi. So I am Yvonne, also known as Yvonne B, and I will be returning to normal streaming schedule on Friday, three o'clock Eastern Standard Time. If you just can't wait, or you're, if you're a giant nerd, or you think my boyfriend's hot, and how can I blame you? Howie will be I taking over can. my stream. <laughs> Howie will be taking over. Hot. Oh my gosh, and Howie will be taking over my stream along, well, playing alongside Mr. Generic Name on Thursday, I yes, think. that's Thursday. what was said before, and that's what I've been telling people, but I may be wrong, and things may have changed. Thursday at about 4 o'clock Eastern Time. So, you know, tune in. Watch two people geek out over Factorio. But on Friday, I will be playing, once again, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Unless I just burn out and I'm like, screw this, screw everything, and then I'll do whatever the heck I want because it's my stream. Anyhow, You still have after that, that actually had that, um, that Rocket League tournament that you, were t that you keep threatening to have. Or that I, mean, I, to have of did, I mean, you I did kind, kind of did. I mean, I kind of did. I thought, I, thought yeah. I didn't count the, the, the charity stream. Uh, one Why to count that? But just because it was, a, it was a special occasion. Mm, okay, so uh, anyway. the thing is, like, I feel like the Rocket League thing, no matter what, would end up being a special occasion. Like, I would want to That's have fair. that special. So, That's fair. hey, if y'all are interested in doing a Rocket League tournament where I utterly fail, just let me know because it'd be fun. Okay, so it would be fun. So, um, on Sunday, I'm going to be, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I don't, I usually have a an tour, animal, apparently. no, <laughs> I usually have an animal crossing tour every Sunday, starting at 1 PM Eastern, but I do not have anything scheduled for this week. So we're going to do a thing. I don't know what, but it's going to be fun. Anyhow, back to you. Um, so feel free to check out her Twitch channel, uh, for further information on that, um, as well as some of her prior streams. Recently, she did a, um, part two of one, uh, <laughs> uh, D&D Twitch stream where she co-DM'd with, uh, Twitch Jesus, um, and that was fun. It was supposed to be a Christmas one-shot, but it turned into a holiday two-shot. Which, you know, is great. Um, I make a guest appearance, or 12. Um, <laughs> I probably talk way more than tech support really should, but, you know, whatever. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's great. You should check that out. Um, have you actually uploaded that to YouTube, or were you going to upload that to YouTube? I know you were talking about we talked about it. We had talked about it. I am still considering it because god i'm gonna have to do a lot of editing i was thinking about just uh downloading both of the vods for one and two and editing all the best moments together and uploading that onto youtube let's talk about this later <laughs> yeah we can get into more specifics later but it's not currently up on youtube however they are both both stream parts sorry i have an itch on my leg um both stream parts are currently available on her Twitch, um, in VOD form. Um, next up, uh, unfortunately, uh, he has not been able to make an appearance to be able to promo himself. But uh, Melador219 streams Mondays and Wednesdays. Did he actually stream last night? I don't remember him saying he went live. I think I tuned in for a bit, but I can't remember much of yesterday. You know what? Same. I remember my stream, and that's literally it. Anyway, 
But yeah, he Are normally we... streams Mondays and Wednesdays, um, though life and stuff can get hectic and cause problems and all of that wonderful things. Um, but yeah, he's Melador219. We call him Twitch Jesus. Um, we would appreciate it if you started calling him Twitch Jesus as well. Um, if not, Matt suffices, probably. Um, or Melador. Whatever. Uh, he's played th in things in the past like Stardew Valley, Frostpunk, Subnautica. Um, even played the early access to uh, Baldur's Gate 3. However, he completed that, and lately he's been doing... Oh, shit, what was it? Um, I had it on the tip of my tongue, and then I just completely mind-blanked as I was speaking. The um, Witcher. Witcher, that's right. He's doing a Witcher 3 playthrough. Um, that's right. Uh, he, uh... Wait, and Witcher is pretty great. Um... I have not had much of a chance to play it yet, um, but I, it's on my to playlist. I have other things that are higher up on that list, <laughs> um, like playthroughs of Assassin's Creed and Tomb Raider. Um, anyway, uh, I totally forgot to do a thing. Let me do that real quick. Yvonne B at Matt. There we go. Um, links to both uh, Yvonne and Matt are avail and Twitch Jesus are on screen other side there we go um and uh they're down below if you're watching on youtube they're on my link tree they're in the twitch chat they're in all the places all the usual places if you can't find them i'm sorry for your inexplicable blindness well not necessarily inexplicable blindness but definitely blindness i'm sorry and it's very insensitive of me to say it that way but i make it so easy my friends are awesome. Please appreciate them as much as I do. Um, next up is Eternity. Uh, he streams pretty often. Um, I don't. He tries to keep to his schedule, but I don't know how successful he's been at it lately. Um, he streams Wednesdays and Sundays at least. Um, from 2 to 6 on Wednesday, 6 to 10 on Sunday, uh, Eastern Time. All of these people are Eastern Times. So I'm the only schmuck on Central Time um, out of the group of us. Schmuck! I mean, it was the nicest word that came to mind. Um, <laughs> and anyway, his, uh, he plays... Um, if I remember correctly, he said Wednesdays was like multiplayer day, where he plays stuff like Call of Duty and stuff like that. On Sundays are RPG days, things like Outer Worlds or Final Fantasy or whatever. Um, things may have changed for him, so make sure you... Uh, it's been a minute since I've talked to him about it. Um, the holidays have happened since. Um... And so his uh, URL is on screen as well, and the like. Um, and uh, last up is Cosplay Katie. She is awesome. She is a cosplayer who also plays games on Twitch occasionally. Um, she wishes she could play more off uh, to stream more often than she uh, has been able to uh, semi recently, but you know, life is a thing. Um, and but she gets on and plays whenever she can um she's played things like the witcher 3 like melador oh oops helps if i type the right thing there we go um witcher 3 like melador she also has played uh world of warcraft and has done some assassin's creed valhalla as well the most recent assassin's creed game which i currently do not own so you know that's fun for me um I'm holding off on purpose. Um, but anyway. Um, at this point. Originally it was, I wait to see if I get it over the holidays. And if I don't, then I hold off on purpose for a bit. But anyway. Um, but yeah. So uh, she streams when she can. Um, and she's awesome. You should check her out. Uh, also listed is her Instagram. As well as her her version of Linktree. It's a different website, but it's essentially Linktree. That includes various other links to her stuff as well. Um, you should check her out. Um, if you don't check her out as a, as a streamer, you should check her out as a cosplayer, because her cosplays are amazing. Um, and they're all available on her Instagram and stuff. So check her out. She's awesome. Or you can always just pop in here. If one of them is on, they'll be, they'll be appearing on here as well, as long as I'm not streaming too. Because... Um, that's how I have things set up. Um, the last bit is very important. 
um, as always. It's the first time I've actually said that this, said this since the beginning of the year because yesterday I kind of rushed the ending. Um, but anyway, this last bit is very important. Um, so make sure you play, uh, pay very close attention to this. Remember that you matter. Don't forget that. You are important. You are loved. And you deserve love. In these rough, dark times, you have to take care of yourself. Taking time off from things, be it social media, streaming, fighting for your right to live, whatever it may be. Taking time off from it for your own mental health is a good thing. Your physical and mental health matters. I know things may be looking pretty hopeful right now because we're in 2021. I mean, the year of hell is done. Unless it's not. And just because it's a new year does not mean things have changed. It's not an instant reset button, unfortunately. Um, it would be so great if it were. Um, but we still have a lot of problems left to go in this. <sighs> a lot of things left to fix, a lot of things left to go through. And chances are they're not going to get any better um, anytime soon. But, you know, we can get through it. We've gotten this far. We can handle it. Um, it, it may be an uphill fight, but we can do it if we try to do it together. If you need them, I have crisis resources available in my link tree. Um, and I'm also sending... Yes. I'm also sending them in the Twitch chat currently. They're in my link tree. They should. They may also be down below. I don't remember if I actually have them separately down below in my, in YouTube, but I do have them available if you need them. Um, and uh, if you need help, please, please, please ask for it. Uh, their site, their resources for things like domestic violence, suicide prevention, substance abuse, and sexual assault. Um, Unfortunately, these websites are only available in the United States of America. Um, however, I will basically guarantee, well, no, I better not guarantee because I don't actually know for sure. I'm pretty sure I would be very surprised if they're not, uh, if there are not versions available in every other country of the world. Um, if you don't know already, then you should go uh, Google them. I'm sure you'll find something. If you do need, again, if you need help, ask for it. Wear a mask, wash your hands, and keep at least six feet away from others because COVID-19 is still here, and it's still getting worse, and it ain't going to get any better, at least until everybody has the vaccine. If then. There's always a chance the vaccine won't actually help. There is that chance, shitty as it may be, but there is that chance. So stay safe, wear a mask, wash your hands, social distance, stay home as much as you're able to. And I mean, I know the holidays were the holidays and it's like, I can't have the holidays without visiting people. I have to go see my family. And so that everybody went around and you know, fucking saw their family and everything. Like, even my mom fucking went um, to go visit family. And it's like... <sighs> but, you know, whatever. Be safe, be kind, and be empathetic towards those around you. It's a pandemic. It's real. People die. More people have died in the United States because of COVID than did in the 9-11 attacks. I'm not certain on the source of that, but it is a thing that I've seen su numerous, numerous times from multiple sources that I would consider to be accurate, but I, you know, I don't know where they got that information. But I'm pretty sure that, like, it's, it's, a num it's one of those numbers that it's like, yeah, I would not be surprised if that's real, you know? So be safe, be empathetic, be kind, just be, and remember that just because they uh, that people around you are wearing a mask doesn't mean they are safe from you. The masks protect you from them, not the other way around. 
and if they're showing you that kind of respect, you should be showing them the, at least that same level of respect and consideration in, in return. Have empathy. Be kind. Love yourself and love everyone around you. And I will see you all next week. Peace, y'all.